So it must be noted that the president has, of course, appointed a commission to investigate uh, the reasons behind the inaction of authorities on uh, possible intel on uh, the suicide bomb attack uh, that has left the country in shock uh, over the past uh, few weeks now. Also, investigations into this matter has led authorities to discover that uh, the suspects who were involved in the Easter Sunday string of bombings were in possession of a large amount of money. Uh, now, uh, the amount of money that they were in possession is quite evident by the fact uh, that most of the money that were in the suspect's possession were in 5,000 rupee note denominations. 25-year-old Mohammed Fazim Madania, the sister of Mohammed Zahran, was arrested in Khartankud yesterday along with a sum of 2 million rupees, all in 5,000 rupee notes. Another sum of 1.9 million rupees was also discovered at a paddy field in Naramal yesterday based on information retrieved from Mohammed Anwar Mohammed Rizwan, who was identified as the brother-in-law of the suicide bomber who attacked the Katua Pitya church. Significantly, this amount also consisted of 5,000 rupee notes. Three people wearing burqas and a driver who made purchases from a clothing store in Giriullah to the tune of just over 29,000 rupees on the 19th of April made their payment with 5,000 rupee notes. The clothing store bag and white clothes which were purchased from the store were discovered from the blown up house in Sain the Maradu. Interestingly, Sain the Maradu locals claimed before the explosion the terrorists had thrown stacks of 5,000 rupee notes to the neighboring houses. <laughs> Ten million rupees, blue sapphires and foreign currency were found at the house in Dimitagoda where an explosion took place on the 21st of April. All the local currency were in 5,000 rupee notes, while one bundle of 5,000 rupee notes were tied with a band bearing the name of a private bank in Sri Lanka. 10 million rupees discovered from Boragaha in Velimada and 12.1 million rupees discovered at a house in Maduragoda Veligama also contained 5,000 rupee notes. According to reports carried by certain Tamil newspapers, the attackers had paid a large sum of money for the houses obtained on rent in Ampara. According to these reports, a sum of 40,000 rupees was paid monthly for the house in the Bolivarian village in Sindamardu, while a sum of 50,000 rupees was paid monthly for the house in Sennel Gramam in Samantharai. The house in Intavur was paid a sum of 20,000 rupees monthly, and a 15,000 rupees sum was paid for the house in Adalai Chennai. However, the normal rate of rent for an average house in these areas is around 3,000 to 5,000 rupees monthly.